Thank you, Tom. And Alicia, that meeting wrapped up not too long ago. And just a short time ago, I spoke with Deputy Mayor Saul Green. He is stopping short of blaming DTE for some of the problems in responding to those blazes. But he has identified five DTE-related issues that could have helped these blazes burn. DTE and city officials leaving a closed-door meeting this morning, not taking questions, only saying the session was productive. The meeting comes as questions mount over how Tuesday's fires in Detroit were handled. Sources inside the fire department say response time was affected by downed power lines, tying down fire crews who were babysitting the arcing wires. The mayor's office says they have heard this issue raised in the past, and they are looking into it. All told, more than 60 power lines snapped across the city. Many of those lines blamed for causing the blazes. DTE also says energy theft contributed to the problem. On the east side, it appears someone rigged up an illegal line on Robinwood, which destabilized a power hookup and may have sparked one of the biggest neighborhood blazes. And among the five DTE-related issues identified, tree trimming, arcing wires, and the other big one, as I just mentioned, response time to downed power lines. We'll have more on this story coming up later. But again, this meeting this morning about DTE's response time to some of these issues. Reporting live downtown, I'm Tom Wade, Channel 7 Action News.